Hi, my name is Ravi Kumarty, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, SVT Bangalore. So, I am here to explain the fourth problems of projection of lines. See, line PQ 85 mm long, have P is and P is 10 mm FOHP and H 15 mm in front of VP. See, P is 10 mm FOHP and 15 mm in front of VP. The top view and front view of the line is PQ or 75 mm and 80 mm respectively. So draw the projection also determine the true and apparent inclination of the line. See here very important thing is you have to note it down from where you have to start this problem. Okay. So this problem is little bit tricky. Okay. So from where you have to start. See I'll start with first I'll take a 85 mm line. 85. 85 mm. Okay, I'll take any one reference point. I'll just draw an arc. Okay, it's a reference arc. I'll just draw reference arc. Okay, I'll just keep it same. Next, after that, I'll take 75 mm. 85 mm is a true length. Okay, 75 mm and 80 mm are apparent length. Okay, so 75 mm. So I'll take 75 mm. Okay, just I'll draw and reference arc up to this locus line. You can observe up to this locus line. You have to remember. Okay, join this arc up to locus line. Okay, now so what you will do now? I'll extend this line, which intersect the locus, which intersect the arc. Okay, ATM arc. So next I'll draw locus line. I'll draw a locus line then I'll join see you you should get 85 here yeah you're getting 85 so join okay now so this is a true length true length okay this is what your Q dash okay now so next is okay so next is what you have you know in the front view you are given 80 mm so yeah 75 mm is top view 80 mm in the front view so 80 mm so just measure 80 measure 80 okay next cut an arc here okay now so next join join this okay this is your q1 dash so this is apparent length this is apparent length so you have to find out alpha 1 is apparent length alpha is true length okay you have to find out alpha 1 and alpha okay we'll see how much you'll get see uh, okay alpha is around 29 degree alpha 1 is 29 degree okay alpha is around 27 degree so these are a true inclinations true inclination so now i wanted to find out apparent how to do see very simple very simple task okay so now i'll draw a straight line okay i'll draw a straight line from here so which intersect here then i'll join this join this this is your q1 okay q1 this is a apparent length okay this is a apparent length so how to get the true length here okay so very simple You can see see apparent length this is 75 mm and this apparent length is how much 80 mm okay so very simple how to get this how to get the uh, true length here okay so uh, yeah so for true length yeah so uh, for true length okay so you have to find out the true length and true inclination see this is your beta 1 
okay so how to find out true length and true inclinations okay so next is you can observe you take a 80 mm length you take 80 mm draw an arc take 80 mm length and draw an arc so this is up moving upward and this is coming downward okay now up to where you have to draw you have to draw this up to this line next you have to join this okay see this is the true length and true inclination beta is true length inclination and this is true length okay true length you have to be very careful okay so let's see how much you will get uh beta and beta 1 okay so beta is around 23 and beta 1 is around 27 so these are apparent inclination okay so this completed the fourth problem is very very uh, tricky one but is it look like a tricky but it is very easy problem okay so first you have to draw uh, 80 mm line okay then you have to cut an arc here 75 mm cut arc okay which then you have to extend this up to a uh, this 80 mm line 85 mm line then you will get the true length and true inclination next you have to draw a uh, apparent inc line you have to draw arc then you will extend here and then you can join you will get the true length and true inclination okay so this complete the fourth problem